So I've got it, it arrived, uh, Pete Seeger's Mountain Banjo. Um, and this is a great banjo of its own accord. It was made by Leonard Glenn of Sugar Grove, North Carolina. He's outlined in the Foxfire books. So uh, outside of being Pete Seeger's banjo, it's still a collectible piece of folk art that is a fully playable instrument. Can't believe it. Sounds good. It's got light strings on it right now. And it's probably due to just how thin that is. I've never seen a banjo that thin up around the neck and the headstock. Uh, usually I try a heavier gauge string on a mountain banjo, but I can't help myself. I gotta play it. This land is your land, this land is my land From California to the New York Island To the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters This land was made for you and me Banjo really does well with the claw hammer stuff. Down the road here from me, there's a big hollow tree where you lay down a dollar or two. You drive around the bend and when you come back again, there's a jug full of good old Mountain Dew. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. Hang your head, Tom Dooley. Hang your head and cry. Kill little Lori Foster, poor boy, you're bound to die. Great little banjo. I've never seen a design quite like this by Leonard, I think it's by Leonard Glenn, but the headstock almost looks like Frank Prophet Jr. to me. I don't know, but man, I surely am happy with it. Great little banjo.